Welcome to another MaxQDA video tutorial. After we have learned all the basics on how to import and code data in the Getting Started video tutorial, we will now have a look at ways to import and analyze images in your MaxQDA project. Just like text files, you can import images via drag and drop or via the context menu in the document folder. You can import files in the file formats PNG, JPG, GIF and TIF. During the process, MaxQDA may inform you that one or more files exceed the maximum data file size. For now, simply click Yes. Imported pictures can be opened via double-click. They will be shown in the document browser window. The document browser window will then automatically display additional options, for example options to zoom into or to rotate the image. Coding an image basically works in the same way as coding a text. When looking at this particular image, for example, I note that the person in it is being portrayed while working on something. As I find this relevant for my research, I create a code, just as shown in the Getting Started tutorial, and name it Work in Progress. Just like selecting segments of a text, I can now select one part of the image with my cursor and drag and drop it onto the code, or drag and drop the code onto the selected part. So let's move forward a bit now. You can see now the project after I have done some more coding. A difference to text documents is that in images coded segments can be displayed right inside the image. You can turn this feature on and off by right clicking into this area and checking the appropriate box. So what if I want to see all elements coded with work in progress? As we learned in the Getting Started tutorial, you can activate the code and then select all relevant images. To avoid selecting all images individually, I click the small dot next to the folder name Documents, which activates all contained images at once. On the right side, you can now see the Retrieved Segments window displays a number of coded segments. These are all the coded segments extracted from the image. When I click the small info box next to a coded segment, the document browser will display the whole image, so you can see the selected part in its context again. Of course, you can also use more complex analytical features and, for example, search for those parts of an image where two or more codes intersect. It is also easy to share your results, because MaxQDA will include coded segments of the image whenever you export them, for example, from the list of coded segments. So as you can see, importing and coding images works just as intuitively as working with text files. 